Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Classes in QuickBooks Online Plus let you categorize transactions. This is helpful for many things, like tracking departmental expenses or tracking amounts by individual line items. To enable class tracking, click the gear button and then click the account and settings link to open the account and settings window. Click the advanced tab at the left side of the window and then click the category section to the right. Then check the track classes checkbox to enable class tracking. To show a warning if a transaction is saved without a classification, check the warn me when a transaction isn't assigned a class checkbox. Then use the assign classes drop down to select either one to each row in transaction or one to entire transaction to choose how to assign your classes. To classify line items, select the one to each row in transaction choice. When finished, click the Save button in this section, and then click the Done button in the lower right corner of the window to close it. To create the classes, click the Gear button, and then click the All Lists link. In the All Lists page, click the Classes link to open the Classes list. To create a new class, click the New button in the upper right corner to open a class window. Type the class name into the Name field. To make the class a subclass of another existing class, check the Is Subclass checkbox and then select its parent class from the drop-down menu that appears. It is important to note that when creating subclasses, you can only have five levels of subclasses including the top or parent class. Then click the Save button to save the new class. Within the Classes list, you can run a report on the class, edit it, or delete it by clicking either the Run Report, Edit, or Delete links under the Action column within the row for the selected class. To print the list of classes, click the Print List button in the upper right corner of the list. To show inactive classes or change the number of classes shown per page, click the Settings button in the upper right corner of the list and then either check the Include Inactive checkbox or use the Rows drop-down to set the number of rows to show per page. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.